Shoot! <laughs> Food is one of the best things in the world. Don't you think too? Yeah. I mean, you have breakfast, you have brunch, you have lunch, a snack between, dinner, after midnight dinner. <laughs> I love it. But why? Why do we love food? Is it just to get full? Only for pleasure or for social reasons? What about to stay healthy? If I take my time at the supermarket, it seems that almost every product is good for us. A thumb, a label, a claim. But is it really so? <laughs> tell me what you eat, and I will tell you what you are. Let food be their medicine, and medicine be their food. Seems to be food is important. But what, what are we? And what is our medicine? If we eat, for example, a noodle soup with ingredients I, I actually don't know. And wow, 50% of our daily amount of salt. The point is, through all the mark. The point is, <laughs> through all the new products and through all the new marketing claims, we forget what food really is and what it does with us. We lost the overview of the hidden sugar, salt and additives we are eating every day. To be honest, we don't know what and why we eat at all. Six years ago, my father, he had a heart attack. My whole family was shocked. We didn't know how that could happen. Because he was young, 60 years. He never smoked a cigarette in his life. He wasn't even overweight. The doctor explained it happened because he ate too much omega-6 and too less omega-3 fatty acids. And you already know what that means, right? <laughs> I will explain. <laughs> he ate too much fats from an animal and too less fats from a plant. When my father got ill, it was a wake-up call for me. Food became not only my passion, but also my work. I became a farmer. Yeah. <laughs> I read a lot of articles and visit conferences, and there was one fact which concerned me. The fact that every second, every second, we had two more people at this planet. Just do a quick check. Two, four, six, eight. Do you realize that if we continue eating like we do it right now, we need the size of three planets Earth to feed us in 2050. In 2050. So what we are doing is we, we destroy resources just to feed us right now and without thinking about the long terms. For example, in Brazil, right now they cut down the rainforest just to get more soya. And don't blame the vegans because 80% of the soya 80% of the soya is, is used to feed our pigs and animals for our steak, cheese and milk. But let's have a break here. 
because I don't want to give a speech about what you should and shouldn't eat, and you already hear about the food problems, problems elsewhere. I'm here to share a potential solution with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and this solution is um, maybe the oldest things in the world. And although it exists since millions of years, it seems that no one knows from it. It's a plant, green and very, very tiny, so small, you wouldn't see that plant if I had one at my fingertip right now. This plant grows here and looks like that. Green water. That is what the eye can see. If we take a look under the microscope, we see that. A green ball. Yeah. And this green ball has the lovely name Chlorella. I know it sounds like a toilet cleaner, <laughs> but it's a plant. <laughs> and the whole name, it even gets worse, Chlorella vulgaris. <laughs> Wasn't I my idea to call it like that? Well, yeah. Um, chlorella is an alga. Humane our alga, <laughs> yeah. The green, slimy things in the water, or the one from sushi. <laughs> yeah, who of you already tried alga? Hands up. Okay, 50-50, I guess. Yes, some of you may love it, some of you may hate it. But if you say, I hate or I love the taste of alga, it's like saying, I hate the taste of fruits. The question is, which fruit do you mean? Is it an apple or a pineapple? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do you breed chlorella? Chlorella can grow in even extreme places. Just need sweet water and shelter. Grow them and harvest them. After harvesting, we get this. A green cream. Looks delicious, eh? And after drying, and I was really looking forward to show you that, we get this. Are you ready for it? That is what you get. A mess. Yeah. <laughs> Chlorella? Chlorella is a Ferrari under the algae. It's a premium one. I mean, there's no other plant who has almost every nutrition the human body needs to survive, and that in an almost perfect ratio. Even vitamin B12, which is only, almost only in animal products. And look at this. Zoya, quite famous for its high amount of proteins, has less proteins, so chlorella has much more. <laughs> 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 and above that, and it's almost good to be too good to be true, it's uh, good for the environment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because chlorella is uh, yeah, it's really small and it grows very fast. So um, it reduces five times, or the, the reduction of CO2 is five times more effective than with the other plant. Isn't that amazing? And it doesn't need much energy, and it doesn't need much energy, uh, land area. Okay, um, but here's another fact, um, <laughs> because I know that there are a lot of students in this hall, right? <laughs> okay, to be honest, when was your last hangover? <laughs> Never. Yesterday? Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah. <laughs> well, I tested. <laughs> I tested that chlorella helps against hangover. 
According to, <laughs> according to Japanese researchers, it regenerates some function in the liver, which prevents the hangover. I mean, is that not a reason to try chlorella? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's crack into my rant. Because um, nowadays, for a good farmer, it's not easy to survive financially. But why should a farmer start breeding alga if no supermarket is selling it? Well, it's our turn now. Because we have to ask for it. And you don't have to be a health freak to eat chlorella. And you also don't have to act radically to eat chlorella. See chlorella as an addition of for example, as alga latte. <laughs> alga with quiche. <laughs> or alga with chocolate. <laughs> or even better, alga with ice cream. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to wait till you or someone dear gets ill. You can, you can start small and start the change from breeding cows and tailing soya to get profitable in business by breeding alga. Yeah. I mean, why wait when the solution is there for a million of years? Thank you.